Justin, how do you uh, sum up that performance today from, from your side? Well, we lost the game in the first 10 minutes after the season two goals. Uh, and then after that, it's pretty much an even contest, but they've got two goals, so it's easy to say that. But I think we lost it because we weren't tracking our runners and they came at us quickly and we wasn't ready for that, their start, which we should have been. And we've not created enough chances today. We've had a few people missing, a few injuries. Um, the only plus points come out of today is that Villiano came back. I mean, after looking so solid defensively against VCD, it must have been even more disappointing to, to concede so quickly. Yeah, well, like I said, but I don't think it was. I think it was the, uh, the first goal. It was, shouldn't have been a corner. It should have been a goal kick. He gave a corner and hit the post, which is weird. Uh, we've cleared it, they've, they've picked up the second, so we sort of live with that goal, obviously it's a bit too quick. The second goal is, is, is poor because the fullbacks let him run across him and took him into the box and had a shot, which is disappointing. Uh, so, yeah. In between the, their first two goals, there was a, a penalty decision that wasn't given. Do you feel that maybe Teddy was a bit too honest by trying to stay on his feet rather than go down? No, 100%. I think he was too honest. If he would have went down, it would have been a penalty and a red card. Yeah, and I, I said to him, he was, he was designated penalty taker, so I can understand when people are on penalty takers, they try and stay up because they want to score. So it's just things like that. If he goes down, we score 1-1, one, one, they've got 10 men. It's a totally different game, isn't it? And when you compare that to the penalty that was given late on in the second half where Chris Newby went down very easily. Well, the player said that after he said I dived. So he's honest, he's, he's held it his hands, he said he won the penalty. The line on my side said he won the penalty. Their bench said it's not a penalty. The only person who thought it was a penalty was the referee. Like so, if that if that penalty decision is given, they're down to ten men. It's it's probably going to be one all. It's a completely different game from there on in, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Football small margins, you know, and that's what it is. Where I think the ref was a bit soft today is I think they were screaming abuse at the ref all game, Britain players. And I've been told by by my club and because we have a director who works in the league to to stop those things and stamp it out and respect the referees, but. Four or five day players gonna get sent off today for swearing at the referee, but we do it. With one player gets done, you know. So that's the consistency. I, I don't think the referee helped it, but saying that, I don't think the referee cost us the victory. So it's, it, it, that's that's the truth. He didn't cost us the victory, but like I said, there's a few things that if he would have clamped down or done correctly, like gave the penalty or stopped them from swearing at him, then maybe we would have had ten men. They would they they would have had ten men. It would have been a different game. But like it's all ifs and buts at the moment. So as you mentioned earlier, it was. Probably the biggest positive from today is the fact that Captain Billy Holland was back. I mean, it's his first game since September the 9th, I believe. It's a long, long time out. How much it's of a. It's Malden, I think it was last Yeah, that was the last game, Malden. I mean, how big of a miss has he been uh, over the last four or five months? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't, don't like to put too much pressure on him, but he's a difference to where we, if he was in the team, we'd be higher up the league, that's for sure. And you've got a game against his, one of his former sides, Waltham Abbey, on Tuesday night. You're hoping to bounce back quickly. We're after another good team, you know, probably in a false position. So because they've got a lot of games to play catch up. All the games coming now, thick and fast. I don't think we're playing any teams down the bottom apart from where, and then they they want to rise. So uh, all, every game is going to be tough like it was today. So I've signed a couple of players, and hopefully, uh, not hopefully, but they will be available Tuesday because we're, we're missing a few players through injury and with a bit of uh, lack of cover in certain positions. This is the first game of five in the space of ten days. You're going to have to be very clever with your squad, aren't you? And chop and change. You feel you've got a big enough squad to do that? No, I don't think so at the moment. We're we'll, we'll trying to be. That's what I'm trying to add to it at the moment. So you'll be looking to bring in more people as the week goes on. Yeah, like I said, we should have two, two, two new players in the squad on Tuesday, and then obviously on Thursday we're going to have to freshen it up as well. Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday.